In this video, you'll be learning about this topic. All right, so Andy, anytime we're in a big bull market with Bitcoin, there's a lot of fear, uncertainty, and doubt, otherwise known as FUD. What is some FUD you're hearing right now that you just want to take a jackhammer to? I'll tell you what I want to get past is the tether FUD. Blow up tether. Tether, please blow up. Everybody go go redeem your tethers. <laughs> By the way, I've never held tether myself, not even for a nanosecond have I ever held uh, have I ever held a single tether. You know, let's all redeem our tethers. Let's see if it's really backed and let's just get this thing behind us. Let's get it over with. I'm so tired of it. <laughs> I think that, you know, I think the the notion that the hypothesis that tether is a major reason for the Bitcoin price going up in the long run seems tenuous, seems unlikely. And I think that fear among investors, institutional and retail, you know, this overhang basically that, that comes from the existence of, of Tether, I think if we removed it in the long run, actually, Bitcoin might potentially be better off. And I do sort of get tired of, uh, of spending time uh, thinking and talk about, talking about it. So well, there's so many other stable coins out there. Most of the exchanges are standing up their own stable coins, but you're still seeing Tether being widely used, which suggests to me that the exchanges that are, are using Tether, in addition to maybe their own stable coin, they don't have a concern or else they'd be redeeming them, right? Yeah, you have to say, that's right. You have to say that, and in fairness, it's more the offshore exchanges, right? Rather than the onshore ones, rather than the US-based ones or the Western ones. Where tether is prevalent, and some of those guys are relatively fly-by-night operations, I guess. Although, frankly, some of the smaller exchanges have have dropped out over time. They've some of them have gotten hacked, some of them have disappeared, or I don't know, exit scammed. Others have been acquired, and so yeah, I think the field, the remaining field of sizable offshore exchanges, probably want to stay in business, and they probably have some idea of the counterparty they're dealing with. And yeah, I don't think that they want to... I, I think they're smart enough to not risk their long-term business by taking counterparty risk and risk to their enterprises of you know this thing going uh, effectively going poof. So look, I'm not saying that Tether is fully backed. I don't really know. I don't really have much idea of, of, uh, of how many dollars are backing the, the $25 billion worth of notional Tether. But I don't think it's a very significant probability that it will be a big long term risk to Bitcoin. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the next podcast episode and new investing resources. What are your takeaways and thoughts on this discussion? Let us know in the comments section below.